Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House Tarot. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgos. Let's get started, guys. I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so greatly appreciated, guys. So greatly appreciated. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, okay? All right, guys, let's get started. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for the sign of Virgo. So we have pot calling the kettle like then we have bless your heart All right. that's an actual whole bunch bless spirit show me what I need to see for the sign of Virgo bump on a log. All right. Let's get started. Right, let's see. I'm trying to get it to where it's in the camera. All right. So here we have pot calling the kettle black. That's hypocrisy, projection, similarities, blame, introspection needed. So I do feel like in your energy, in your energy right now, Someone is blaming someone or you are blaming someone. Someone is projecting blame onto someone else. That's in your energy right now. Also, we have bless your heart. That's friendship, appreciation, devotion, worthiness, caring, and playful teasing. All right. For some of you guys, you have a friend that is going to be showing you appreciation or you're going to be showing them appreciation or this is a call or a need or a desire to show appreciation to someone else. Okay, we also have bumping a log, lazing around, loafing, false start, non-responsive, and disinterest. So for some of you guys, you do have somebody in your energy that is kind of like a loafer, kind of like very lazy, not actually being productive in their life. Whether it's you or someone within your energy, you definitely have someone that's just, it's like a false start. They may say that they are working on getting something done, but are they truly taking the steps needed to get it done? So let's see what's going on here, guys. All right. Now here when we have someone that's projecting blame onto someone else, it's one of those things whereas someone could be blaming you for a situation. They could be blaming you for a lack of a lack of something within their life. A la um, projecting blame on you because your a relationship may have ended or a situation may have happened in some kind of way, shape, or form. And they're feeling the need to blame you for why they have this false start or why they cannot actually accomplish the things that they are they say that they want to accomplish where it's not really and truly you and this is somebody that's pretty close to you somebody that i feel like they feel they feel like you guys are friends this person could be a friend this person could also be a family member here and they're and they are they're, they're talking about you and they're talking about you with other people but they're blaming you that's the feeling i'm getting so i don't feel like this is your energy virgo I feel like this is somebody within your energy that is blaming you and they're talking about you with other people. But they're blaming you for their own problems. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Hmm. And they could be talking amongst you, other friends and family members. But I also do feel like there's somebody here in the energy that may be defending you at the same time to the person that's blaming you. All right, Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for this sign. A Virgo. Let's get started. So 
So we have Seven of Pentacles. And we have the star. That's wish fulfillment. All right. So I have somebody sowing seeds, planting seeds to harvest. All right. Somebody putting in the work. Hmm. We have the star here. That's strong Aquarius energy. That's a healing energy. Hmm. You know what I'm getting from this? I'm getting there's somebody here that they may have been projecting blame. But you know, they're going through a healing process right now. They're looking, they're going through a renewal. They're seeking some type of hope, some type of happiness, some type of positivity. Hmm. And you know, this could also be, whereas you may have, and this could, and, and Virgo, let's think about this. This could have been where something has ended. A relationship, a, a job, a friendship, something could have ended within your life and you somewhat, you took blame. Like you allowed other people to project their blame onto you for that relationship that it, for whatever that ending is, you allowed others to project their blame on you and you took it. It caused you additional anxiety, additional stress, and you knew, yeah, you, you, you knew it, the wrongdoing wasn't on your part, but you allowed that energy within your space. You know, so you allowed someone to project their blame, project their lack of onto you. But spirit is saying that no, no, and you're in, it was not you. You know, you've healed from this. And you're going through a renewal process right now, whereas your, your, your introspection is shifting your perception of the situation between you and this person or you and this this thing you and the situation it is shifting why because you, you you've gone through your healing process you have worked on righting your wrongs you've worked on understanding that no it's not my fault if they can't get their shit together and that's where i feel you are right now virgo at some point, you did have someone that was blaming you. They were gossiping about you. They were talking about you with other people. And they were saying, well, that oh poor me, they were, feel, they were acting like they were the victim. And, you know, you were taking it on because it's like everybody's against you because based off of other of someone else's feelings, emotions, and how they handled life. But, you know, you're healing. Look at that. Like your spirituality, like you're like you're starting to see the results of this spiritual shift that you've been going through. Yeah, there's still work that needs to be done, but you're getting there. You're manifesting. The things that you have been manifesting manifesting is coming to fruition. You're starting to see the fruits to the labor that you have been putting, you've been putting in the work. So it doesn't matter who blames you. You're healing. You're healing from the inside out. So they can project all they want. Here, what they, they said, the pot calling the kettle black. It's for, but you know, that tells you that this person in themselves has, has not changed. This person is still living in that blame. You're still living in that sadness. But you're going through your healing process right now, Virgo. All right. So here we have Page of Cups. And then we have the Chariot. The Chariot is strong Cancer energy. Cups, that Scorpio Pisces cancer so for some of you guys you could definitely have a cancer in your energy all right so for our page of cups that is someone that's kind of immature it could be a child for some of you guys it could definitely be a child in your energy that's coming in or they're looking for some type of stability in their life someone younger than you and that's what i'm getting here somebody very somewhat sensitive hmm 
it could be somebody younger than you. For some of you guys, it could be somebody younger than you that's coming in for a victory. But you know what? They're coming in here. I said it says, bless your heart, friendship, appreciation, devotion, worthiness, caring, and playful teasing. So it could, there could definitely be somebody coming your way, Virgo. And this person is going to be younger than you, but they could be seeking some type of friendship. They could actually truly be offering you a cup of love. But I do feel like this person is a tad bit immature. But for some of you guys, this person could be coming in to offer you some type of proposal, some type of relationship. Whether it's a friendship, a business offer, or a, a romantic relationship. This person is coming in because they do want victory with you. They do want to be able to move forward with you. They're looking for some type of forward move it, movement. And this person could definitely be traveling towards you. But they're, but I feel like, see here, they're, it's like they're gifting you their heart. This person is coming in, they're gifting you with their heart. And I feel like they're very passionate about their pursuit to you. It may start off as friendship, as a friendship. But then ultimately, it's going to be more like a playful teasing. And it could manifest into something else. Okay? This person could be coming in with a romantic proposal. But for some of you guys, you definitely have somebody younger in your energy coming in. And But the thing about it is, I don't feel like this is somebody that you know already. I feel like this is someone new, Virgo. All right, let's see what's going on. So we have the tower, that strong Scorpio energy. And we also have the nine of swords. And then we have the moon. All right. So what has happened? It says non-response, a false start. So what I'm getting from this is that there was an ending. That left somebody with a lot of sleepless nights. But we have the moon here. It's something that was not being seen for what it was. The moon has divine feminine energy. But you see how this person is kind of sinking into it. That's like hidden secrets. Somebody's emotion. Somebody's very emotional. So there was an ending here. And Virgo, where this could be your energy or somebody within your energy. Remember, this time is fluid. The energy is fluid. It's, it's yours, someone that's within your energy. But I feel like someone's kind of stuck here. Look at this. They're kind of just stuck. Like, you know, the tower has come down. This person has had many sleepless nights. But they're, they keep pondering. They keep pondering on the loss they're, they're very emotional. They're not handling their emotions very well. It's like they haven't they, 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 they don't have an understanding. They they still have questions. There's still so many things that they don't know, and there's still so many answers that they are looking for, whether that's your energy or this person's it's within your energy. There was a tower moment here with the tower. This person here with the nine of swords, they had many, many sleepless nights. They've been suffering in their head, stress, anxiety. They're still very burdensome. They're still very burdensome by this tower. You know, this happened all of a sudden. It shook up their world. And they're, and they're still struggling, struggling very much so in their head. Whether it's you struggling, whether it's the person within your energy struggling, Someone is still definitely struggling with this loss. So here we do have this. We do have somebody that is talking, still talking about you. Why? Because they do want to come in and they do want to put in the work. They do want to heal a situation with you. 
But instead of actually communicating that with you, they're, they're gossiping about you. They're trying to run your name down in the mud with other people that may care still about you. But you do have somebody younger coming in and they're looking for victory success. They're going to be offering you some type of proposal, some type of romantic proposal. Yeah. Hmm. But you still have somebody in your energy that's, it ended, something ended. And you see them talking. You see them gossiping. You also could have this same person that does want to come in and offer you at least friendship. It's like they don't want to lose you completely. Like the thought, the idea of losing you completely really stresses them out. Really. I feel like this person has been crying. And it's almost like a, a victim is, like I said that, it's almost like they're like, why? Why can't I have you? Why can't I have Virgo? Why can't we just be friends? They have so many questions. They have so many questions still. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. All right, Spirit, let's clarify. What is this Seven of Pentacles for Virgo? The King of Wands. Hmm. That's somebody that wants what they want when they want it. Yeah. And I feel like they want you. Hmm. The world. Yeah, this cycle is not over. Whoever this person is. They don't feel like the cycle is over between the two of you. And they still do blame you. They still do blame you for whatever ending occurred, whatever situation happened, whether it's a job loss, a relationship ending, a family splitting apart, whatever happens, this person still blames you. But th this cycle is telling me that it is not over. Why? Because this person is still stuck on you. This person still has their eyes on you, Virgo. And you know what? They're stubborn in the way like they don't care what you want. It's, what, it's all about what they want. That's what I'm getting here. And what it's telling me with the world in reverse is that this cycle is not over. This person is coming back. They are. Because they do see you as the star. They do see you as their wish fulfillment. Let's clarify the star for Virgo. Yeah, Ten of Cups. This person wants that with you. They feel that you are their family. They feel like they belong with you. You are their happy place. We have the page of wands here. Yeah, this person, this person is watching you. I kind of get like an immature feeling with this person. But this person, I feel like they're, it's like they can't let go of the love they had for you. So some of you guys, you will be getting some type of communication from this person, whether it's a letter, an email, a phone call. This person is coming in because they do want to tell you that they want to heal a situation with you because they do love you and they want the Ten of Cups with you, Virgo. And that's for some of you guys. But know that the same person that is coming back in has done a lot of talking about you. They have run your name. They have stumped on your your name, your heart, whatever, your reputation they've been trying. They have actually worked to corrupt your reputation itself. So while this person may be coming in, why? Because they don't know how to handle their emotions. Their emotions is still within the page group. They're not a knight. They're not a king. Their emotions is very childish, very immature, and they still don't know how to work through the feelings that they are having properly. They still haven't gone in. They still haven't done the work. They're still very immature in their pursuit. All right. What's this page of cups for Virgo? Show me spirit. What is this page of cups for Virgo? Guys, thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, and all your subscribes. All right, guys. So this is the King of Swords. Hmm. So the King of Swords is someone that is stern, strong, 
someone that knows what they want and they're very direct so there is someone here while they may I do still feel there's someone here in your energy who may be young at heart or maybe younger than you they have their eye on you they want to offer you some type of friendship but ultimately to move it forward into something else okay it's someone who stands in their power someone who is authentic they truly they, they will tell you what they want they're not going to sugarcoat anything and I feel like that's somebody that will defend you no matter what and they're coming in because they want victory with you this king of swords but you see how all the kings they're looking towards you we have this king of wands we have this king of swords and they're looking at you as the star mm, what's the chariot the Virgo knight of cups mm, moving forward but you know when I when I when I get this I'm actually let's see so I have more see we have the chariot again we have the two of swords and we have the moon. There's something hidden here. I feel like the Eight of Cups is normally when someone is actually abandoning a bad situation. They're walking away, they're letting go. Hmm. But here with the chariot, I feel like this person is not abandoning you. I feel like this person is abandoning something else. It's like abandoning their old life, their old ways, because they're in pursuit of you. That's what I'm seeing here with this Eight of Cups. I don't see this person leaving you. I see this person leaving another situation or another place and coming to you here with the Chariot. And then we also have the Two of Swords here. That's. A, I just feel like, you know, that's a decision someone is making and they're cutting someone out of their life. They've made the decision that they're coming towards you. They're cutting someone out of their life. But they're moving in secret. They're moving in silence. It's like they're working it out in their head. They're very vague. Hmm. Yeah. Like I said, this person, even still while these people are in pursuit of you it's like their emotions are still very immature and this person is actually I feel like they're leaving someone to come to you but they're not being honest with this person it's almost like they're just kind of like a thief in the night like they're, they're leaving this person when this person is very least expecting it so they're not a very it's not, it's not even dependable it's like they're not a very, what is the word? It's one of those feelings where as if when a person does wrong by another, can they really do right by you? It could be dependable. The word could very much be dependable, but there's another word for it. Because anyone who cannot face a situation, own up, to a decision that they have made. This person is lacking. They're lacking some type of direction. They're lacking some type of balance. Why? Because in the back of their head, in the back of their mind, the life that they're walking away from to come to you will always be there. So it's going to affect whatever relationship you guys will try to move forward in. If that even is a, if that is even an option. We don't even know if that's still even an option. We just see people coming towards you. And we just see people coming towards you because they want what they want when they want it. All right, what is the tower? What is the tower for Virgo? So we have 10 of Pentacles. Hmm. 
I don't know, you know, normally, hmm, somebody lost their happy place. Somebody lost their balance, their security. Yeah, somebody lost that. And I feel like somebody feels they lost that with you. They had the Ten of Pentacles with you and they lost that. That happy family life, that abundant life. I feel like you and someone you did, y'all did a lot together. You may have opened this person's eyes up to so much new things in this life. And that person feels like, you know, they've lost that. And you know, they it's like they they ne they haven't been able to regroup from it. Here with this loafing and lazing around, false start. It's like they don't know how to. It's somebody who's very that was very dependent on your guidance that's what i'm getting here somebody that was truly immature in life and they were very dependent on you virgo that's what i'm getting and you know the tower happened for them because they lost that stability with you and they're, they're still not handling it well what is this nine of swords what is this nine of swords for virgo yeah, three of wands. Hmm. I do feel like this person is coming back towards you. And I know I've been getting this in your energy a lot. I wish I could say that this person is truly moving on. I do want to see I do want to say that someone is they're moving on away from you. But the thing about it is there's some type of connection here. And there's a lot, there's people, there's multiple people in your energy and they can't move on from you. Like you know, let's let's see. What is this three of wands? Show me this three of wands for Virgo before I say it. Five of cups. Yeah. And you know that, that it's like a feeling of a situation being south. Yes, yes. You see this person, they have many sleepless nights. And while they may have tried to look ahead, look past you, move on from you, here we have the Five of Cups in reverse. And I feel like this is somebody that may be returning to you. Because they feel like, you know, what if, if, there, if there's even an inkling that this, is, this situation could be salvageable, they want to come in and they want to at least try. Because you know what, they're stuck in their head and they don't want to be this anymore. They don't want to live this life anymore. They've tried to move on past you, Virgo. For some of you guys, this person has truly tried to move on past you, but they cannot. They can't. I could say that it's, this is your energy, but I could also say that this is this person's energy it could be either or vice versa. Because you know, it's all within. It could, this could be your energy, their energy. You could be the person that can't move on from that person suffering in your head, having sleepless nights. Why? Because there was a tower moment because you thought this would be your end all be all relationship. But it ended. It ended unexpectedly. But Spirit is saying there's something that is not being seen. All right, so some, or this is something that nobody saw coming. But it's also saying that someone is not able to heal from it. They've been trying and they've been trying to move on, but they still have not yet. You know, I've been picking this up in your energy a lot, whether it's your energy or this person's energy. Guys, please let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments whether it's your energy or this person's energy. And be honest. You know, the first step of healing is being honest with yourself and with others. That's the first step to healing. What is the moon? We have the death, the strong Scorpio energy. Hmm. Hmm. There's an ending here. There is an ending, and that's an ending that someone is not wanting to accept. It's like some. It's a. It's. Hmm. There's a transformation. But when there's an ending, there's a new beginning to something else. Let's see. Let's see what Spirit tells us. Because I want to see what exactly this is. 
I do want to know if this is your energy or this person's energy. Because I feel like it could be, sometimes it could be your energy, sometimes it could be this person's energy. I feel like your energy is like, it's combined. I feel like y'all going back and forth in your head as well, just like this person. Yeah. All right, Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for the sign of Virgo. Show me, Holy Spirit, what do I need to see for the sign of Virgo? Give us clarity, give us guidance. Trickery. Trickery. You see, and that's the thing in gossip. You said that gossip. And then we have trickery. We've been picking that up in your energy a lot. We know that people are talking. You know, we know that somebody's talking about you. We do know somebody's blaming you for whatever's happening in their life. But you also have somebody that wants to come in and they want to take what is not theirs. And I did see, I did pick this up here. Somebody that wants what they want when they want it. And they see you as a star. They see you putting in the work. They see how your, your life is transforming. And they want to come in because they want what, what you have. We are picking this up in your energy. You got to be careful with whoever comes in your energy. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. All right. We have prayer. I feel like, you know, somebody is praying for a reunion between the two of you. I do feel that. I feel like someone is praying that they will have another opportunity to be with you. And somebody's feeling a lot of guilt. Somebody's feeling a lot of guilt to, for what they did to you, how they treated you, Virgo. I do feel that. You do have multiple people here in your energy, though. You have someone. You do. I feel like there's two or three different people in your energy here. Or this could be two or three of you that have a, that I'm expressing a different story for either or. Let's see. I do want to see what spirit says regarding this. Mm, let's see. Yeah, let's see what the energy is. Because we're picking up, I feel like we're picking up this person's energy very heavily in this reading, Virgo. But also for some of you guys, this is your energy as well. And you have to be honest and you have to deal with it. And I feel like you and this person, you need to come together and communicate because the only way that whoever this energy is, this energy that's kind of still suffering in their head after some time, they need to heal. This person definitely needs to heal. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for the sign of Virgo. They want to be treated like a king, but they really and truly are only a page. I'm getting that a lot in your energy. This person wants to, they want to be treated like a king, but they, they, they truly, they haven't, they haven't earned that title. They haven't put in the work to truly earn the title of being your king. That's what I'm getting here because they're starting, they're paid. They, they have page mentality. All right. Attachment. It says longing, desperation. Yes, someone is truly longing to come back towards you, whether it's you longing to come towards someone else. But there's a longing, there's a desperation. Someone really wants to reconcile with you, Virgo. And they're suffering. Look at this soulful appreciation. It says heartfelt gratitude. Guys, look at this. Someone is coming in. They're coming in with a gift. 
And you know, for some of you guys, it could be the divine offering you a gift, a gift of abundance. For some of you guys, there's going to be some money coming in. I do see this. And it's going to be an endless amount of it. Like you, it's like, it's like some of you guys will be gifted with so much that you will have so much to share. And with so for appreciation, I feel like there's going to be someone coming in and they're going to truly be willing to show you some type of appreciation. Why? Because they have guilt. They have remorse for how they treated you before. They have tried to live life without you, but they've been suffering. They have been suffering. Look at that bottom of the deck. We have connections. It says partnership, contract, commitment. Somebody is coming in because they do want a commitment with you, Virgo. And I'm still picking up, yes, I'm picking up, I'm picking up new energy and I'm picking up old energy as well. So this could be for whoever, you know, this is all fluid. I'm only giving you the information. I can't tell you specifically who, when, or what, or what, who, what, when, why, where, unless I do like a specific personal reading for you. But I'm feeling different energies here. We have new energy. We have old energy. We have energy that's going to be returning to you. We have someone that truly blames you. We have someone that's truly suffering in their head. And we have someone that's going to come in and they're going to be very immature in their approach. But they are, they're focused and their eyes are on you, Virgo. I don't know how, what, when, what, why, where, what's going to happen. Guys, if this resonates with you, hit that like button. If you appreciate this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't so you'll get notified every time I upload any new video footages. Until next time, Virgo.